Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so I did think that I would make a separate video sort of talking about the NFT drop here on Crypto.com today, the Aston Martin drop. So for those of you that don't know, uh, Crypto.com are an official sponsor now of Aston Martin. They've been out of the Formula One for around 60, I think 60 years now, and they're making their return here in 2021. So pretty monumental stuff, if you do ask me now. I'm not going to try and pretend that I, you know, am an expert on the Formula One. I'm not really a car guy, to be honest. I do respect cars and appreciate cars. I do love sport but I'm more into sort of my Australian football my ultimate fighting my boxing cricket you know that kind of thing so I can definitely re um, relate sort of on the passion that surrounds you know Formula One and all of that because I know that there are a lot of people out there that are absolutely obsessed so now I'm not going to promise that I'm going to be buying every single NFT drop you know, the crypto.com, you know, puts forward because I just simply don't have enough to invest that much. And, you know, NFTs are very speculative, okay? They're a really hot fad right now. And I think, you know, in the next five to 10 years, less than 5% of NFTs actually go out and are made, right? Actually going to even be worth anything. But that being said, that 5% that is worth something, you know, that could be absolutely just just nuts okay the value and i honestly think that this formula one has some serious potential here so we're going to be checking out the f1 drop today we're going to be having a look at the nft that i did purchase actually me and karina did purchase the same one so it's saturday the 27th of march here I'm going to read down okay so there's some information on the creator here okay a little bit of information about the drop as a modern team with a strong heritage we're excited to be the first formula one team to offer a new way for our fans to own a unique piece of our history i like it the collection of nfts we're making available cap the very first moment of the team's return to Grand Prix racing after an absence of more than six decades. Okay, so I can see value in this in five years, but I guess it, there's two questions, you know, to to really answer or to really, you know, to think about before purchasing this NFT. The first one is, how is Aston Martin going to perform as an F1 team, I guess, in the next five to 10 years? Are they still going to be around? Are they going to be performing at a high level? Okay, are they going to be winning races or are they going to be finishing sort of, I guess, in the top 10? Okay, obviously, the better that Aston Martin do perform, all right, the more potential worth there's going to be for these NFTs going into the future. Okay, so that's the first point that I see. The second point is the scarcity. So how many of these NFTs are being created, all right, per one? All right, we're going to show you that really, really soon. I know this said said there's going to be two, but there's actually three. Um, it's probably more, but there's the main three, I suppose. And the third one is the actual, you know, the usability of the crypto.com platform itself okay so all these nfts are on the crypto.org chain okay and the platform is really fresh it's really new there's not a lot of people that do know about this yet so how many people are actually going to engage with this platform i personally think there's going to be slow and steady growth for the nfts platform uh, for crypto.com so i'm feeling positive okay and if we talk about sort of interoperability between blockchains at some point um which you know i know it already exists all right in certain capacities uh but in terms of being able to move your NFT from this crypto.org blockchain to another blockchain or selling it on other marketplaces and platforms to sort of increase the exposure in that sense, okay, that's going to really open the doors to some awesome opportunities as well, okay, so let's keep scrolling down, okay, so as you can see, I'm subscribed, and these are the drops here, guys, so we're doing this in real time Saturday morning, this drop uh, at the making of this video has been open for an hour and nine minutes, and compared to the first drop, all right, this, they've been selling out really, really quickly, guys. So this is the $10,000 edition here. 61 editions made, 37 available. All right, $10,000, all right. So if we click on and have a look, some of the videos, guys, I, I do apologize. They might not load because I think there's a bit of congestion at the moment, but okay, so it is loading. So we'll just sit back and have a quick look at this um, while it loads. Bit of respect. So it's the unveiling, guys. So $10,000 for this video, yeah? Unveiling 61 editions, right? Oh, 61 editions because an absence of 61 years, okay. I have to admit, it does look pretty fresh. No, the Crypto.com logo isn't massive, unfortunately, but I guess that comes down to, I don't know what it comes down to, whether it's budget or whatever. Yeah. Nice. Pretty long video as well, actually. I 
hopefully we can see the crypto. Hopefully we can see the crypto.com sponsor. Uh, maybe it's going to be on the. Oh, I think it's on the side, so you can't really. You didn't really get a good look at it. Oh well. Oh no, you're going to have be able to have a look here. Because yeah, uh, we're going to see it here, guys. The crypto.com, I think. Wait. Oh, don't tell me. There it is. Crypto.com, guys. That's it there. That's the money maker there. That's the money maker. There it is again. Nice, nice. Nice. I don't, there it is again. Yeah, nice, guys. I don't think you understand, guys. This, you know, crypto.com. Oh, and again, in the F1 for Aston Martin. Guys, this is huge. It's huge news. You've got to understand there's a holistic thing going on here, you see. It's the whole idea of, you know, it's just bringing more mainstream adoption. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, they got their money's worth. Yeah, they got their money's worth. Damn, I didn't realize how long this video actually was. What do you reckon, guys? Are we paying 10 grand for this or what? You can do it right now. Press the button. Oh, man. Insane. Insane. And that's it. Whew. That was, a, that was a journey, guys. That was a journey. I mean, I don't know about you. I'm not even into F1, but I'm probably going to have to start getting into it, okay? Uh, let's X out of that one, guys. So, guys, drop me a like. Drop me a subscribe and, and some comments if you would like me to make sort of follow-up videos to sort of see how much these uh, NFTs are actually going for in the future, okay? Because that's the whole idea, you know, is we want it to be an investment. We're, we're doing this to collect and just to experiment, have a bit of fun, but as well, we want these things to be going up in value, okay? So that was the 10,000, the AMR21 unveiling and uh, Vettel first run. So, as you can see, there's uh, 37 available 61 editions all right that's going to be gone in the next hour guys so we're going to click on to this second one here i think this is another video yeah so this one's three thousand dollars okay the battle first run pretty cool pretty cool i don't know if that's like a I'm assuming that's a test run because there's not there's no other cars there. You know, this is weird, you know, but I, I'm literally going to watch the F1 now. Like, I'm a supporter of Aston Martin now. I thought I, now that I've paid, you know, for the $300 NFT and I want it to go up, I'm probably going to, well, not probably, I will be watching an F1 race. There's only so much sport you can have time to watch, guys. I'm going to be watching the football later as well. Okay, so that one's gone for 3000 guys. And there's uh, 172 left, and then we've got the Lance first run. Okay, so assuming these are Vettel and Lance are drivers, if it loads, got some more like a aggressive music. This is making me feel like Lance is, you know, going to be going a bit faster. Ah, uh, yeah, Canadian Lance Stroll quickly made a name for himself in F1 becoming the sport's youngest ever rookie podium uh, finisher, following an incredible third place finish in 2017 as a Bajan Grand Prix. Yeah, cool, okay. Well, that's positive, right? All right. What do you reckon, guys? Uh, we, are we paying 3K for this or what? Paying 3K for this bad boy? <laughs> nice you guys so they're the top three guys 10k 3k 3k if we keep scrolling down and you know these are the ones this one here is the one that um karina and i got it's sold out it was a pit stop slow-mo which i personally think is pretty freaking awesome it's 500 editions available okay the aston martin f1 team in the pit stop we'll have a, have a look check this out guys so 500 editions guys that was sold out in under an hour okay so we know we know there's a demand here, okay, sold out in under an hour, and this sale, or these sales currently are lasting 24 hours, okay. The sale I got in yesterday, uh, it was also sold out, and they only had three pieces of all 2,000 each, all right, quite expensive, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was gone within 24 hours, but these all sold out under an hour, guys, under an hour. So the demand is there, and there's obviously going to be, I guess, more people willing to pay a premium on these, you know. Nice. 
Pretty cool, guys. So that's the one I bought, guys. So we'll have a quick look at that in my library when we're done. But that's the one that I bought and Karina bought as well. And this one, 130 available. I actually really love that bird's eye view. That's pretty nice. Well, one thing I am, guys, I'm a, I really do appreciate good video and, and good, yeah, good film, good video, and a good photo, guys. You know, I really, I really like photography and I really like good film and like sort of, I guess, cinema, um, cinematography as well. So I can appreciate that and the sporting element of this, even though I don't know the sort of rules of F1. Okay, so they're all the drops, guys. All right, they're all the drops. We've got the explore section there. As you can see, if we go back and have a quick look. Um, okay, so we can see here, guys, these are some ones uh, that are for sale now from yesterday. Okay, we had 56 for sale, 75 for sale, 67 for sale. I bought it for 2,000, guys, and th these are the starting prices, guys. 3,490, 2,799, 2,600 for Boss Logic and... Uh, look at this, guys. People are already reselling. Look, already reselling. Um, someone's uh, selling this one for 4000 28000 someone's already selling the unveiling from. 428 for the slow-mo, okay. 4888 for the Lance first run and 423 for the Aston Martin. So they're the resales there, guys. And we've got, you know, we've got some stuff going on with Snoop Dogg as well and some other artists as well coming up soon. And this is the My NFT section, guys, just before we do wrap up this video. And there it is. There it is, folks, 500 editions, 125 already up for sale. Damn. And that's it. And I've got the, I've got the ownership of that one. And in case you're wondering as well, guys, how, you know, how, how do we prove that you own this? You know, it's on the platform and we get that. You can log in with a password, but you can actually view the details of the transaction here, guys. As you can see here, all of this information here proves that I own one of 500 of this piece on the crypto.org chain, okay? So that's all the proof I need there when I do want to resell. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so do let me know in the comment section below what you did think of that video. If you found it entertaining today, please give me a like on the video and let me know if you want to see more videos about NFTs. I will be covering all of the crypto.com NFT drops because you know, I'm obsessed with crypto.com and I'm obsessed with NFTs and cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, of course. So wherever you are watching from in the world, I hope you have a blessed and most profitable day in the cryptocurrency space and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, viewers.